This is Ewan here from Audio Coach UK. Let's have a very quick look at the web GUI for the uh, 440 and 445 IP phones. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is browse to the uh, web GUI itself. So you need to type in the IP address of the phone. This can actually be uh, obtained from the phone itself. Uh, there is another video on that on this channel. Okay, so I now need to log in. Um, the default username is admin and then the password is 1234. Obviously this can be changed at a later date to something more secure. Okay, right, okay. So within this, um, probably the most commonly used um, tab is under the personal settings folder. Um, so the first one I'm gonna go into is the function keys. So the function keys, this is actually the uh, digital sidebar down the uh, right hand side of the phone. So that's the one with the buttons that flash with the presence. Okay, so you can see I actually have one contact already set up. Um, so this is speed dial plus uh, BLF, so busy lump function. So that shows the presence of the contact. Um, you can see here it's actually got um, John's uh, email address in here. So I'm just gonna label that John. Okay, and the second one, let's just do another one. So let's just do Mickey. Mickey at Disney, here we go, and then just do Mickey. Okay, so now I have two contacts in there. Then we might want to add a regular phone number. So the regular phone number, one, two, three, four, and then the label for that would be test. Okay, so when I submit, my digital sidebar on the phone will then display three contacts. And obviously you can just repeat the process for all 12. Okay, the next common, uh, segment is the programmable keys. So this is the keys that are actually around the screen. So there's six uh, buttons around the screen, which are soft keys. Um, line one, which is the top left, is always, always reserved for the uh, user account. Um, line two, okay, which is the second one down, uh, or position two, should we say, which is the second one down on the left, you can then set up to be speed dial, speed dial plus BLF, which is um, you know the, exactly the same as we did for the sidebar. Or you can also have um, a key event. So a key event is something like you know open your calendar, miss calls, receive calls, dial calls, etc. So in this case, I'm just going to set up the calendar. So when you click on that button, it opens up your uh, calendar, so you can browse through and see what meetings, etc. You've got. Okay, so position three which is the bottom left uh, key around the screen. I'm gonna set it up to be, I don't know, let's say missed calls. So I can sort of click on it and see the calls that I've missed. Okay, so once you've actually set these up, you can just then press submit and the phone will then uh, display uh, those new sort of soft keys which you've just set up. Okay, so within the personal settings, another kind of commonly used uh, setting is the pin lock. As you can see here, I've got it disabled, but if you want to be able to lock your phone, you can just enable that uh, very easily here. Um, to sign the phone in, so if the phone was actually signed out, um, you can actually go to this part here and then just type in your username and password to sign the phone in. It's probably easier to do it via a, a different process, uh, which is outlined in another video, but you can do it here. And finally, um, over on the management section, if you actually wanted to upgrade the firmware of the phone to take advantage of some new features, just click on manual update, firmware upgrade, and then you can choose a file and it will just open a, a window so you can kind of go and choose your file and then just submit it. Um, this part here is the configuration file, which is essentially a, a large text file with all the settings of the phone. So if you have a a configuration file already, you can kind of upload that to the phone, which will sort of import all of your uh, settings, maybe if you've transferred from another device or something. Okay, that's the, the main features of the web GUI. If you have any uh, questions, please just post these or post a note on the, uh, the below the video and I'll be pleased to answer them. Thank you very much.